What is going on everyone? I have a beauty to show you today. This is the 2023 Paradigm 385 FL. The FL meaning front living, which is what we're staring at right now. This unit comes in at 14,326 pounds. It is a luxurious beast. Massive. So, let's start up here in the living room. First and foremost, we have these beautiful theater seats here uh, with the cup holders. I also like to say that this is perfect. You and the missus are getting along. It's in that position. You and the missus aren't getting along. <laughs> You're in that position. But if you need even more space than that from one another, check it out. You have opposing jackknife sofas here. The only problem is, is if you're like me and my wife, she's just going to sit there and give you a dirty look. So maybe that's not going to work. Anyway, enough joking. So those will turn into sleeping areas. All of the seats here face this awesome entertainment area. So you've got a massive, I think that's a 55-inch flat screen TV that articulates. You have a huge electric only fireplace down there and that is going to definitely take the chill out of the majority of the camper fantastic early season late season camping feature and the other great thing is you're using the campgrounds electricity you'll see that big sticker that says pull out hidden storage take that off there if you actually want it to be hidden storage um, it's a little hard to do one-handed but that does pull out and gives you quite a bit of storage back there for like pillows and blankets as you see, you've got a ton of space around your entertainment area to store CDs, DVDs, all that good stuff. Speaking of CDs, your Bluetooth stereo is right here. You've got your speakers on each side that will also control your <clears throat> excuse me, outside speakers, which I'll show you when we get out there. If I pan around, AC number one is right here. AC number two is right there, and I think we have a third one in the back. We'll have to double check. I don't want to misquote myself on that. We're going to come down to the kitchen area. So we have this awesome little dinette area nook that, as you see, has these huge picture windows. Imagine a beautiful uh, camping scene. You're sitting there having breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Kitchen area. Lots of prep space. You've got your breakfast nook or breakfast, I don't know what you want to call this, Keurig, margarita maker, whatever, or extra serving space. Lots and lots of cabinets and drawers, and they are big cabinets. So you don't have any problem with space. We have residential sized four burner stove, and according to that little image there, you could cook a turkey in there. So if you are living in this full time, you can have Thanksgiving dinner residential sized stainless steel microwave and again lots and lots of storage space and then check out this massive island so you've got a deep stainless steel sink detachable sprayer lots and lots of storage on your island you also have behind door number one a half bath which i love so you get your toilet here your sink and you actually have a medicine cabinet here now, this sparks a lot of debate, and I would love for you to comment down below and let me know what you think. A lot of people hate having a bathroom right next to their kitchen. I had a camper that had a half bath next to the kitchen, and I just had a rule that there was no number twos in there. It's just number ones only. But what's really nice is if you have friends hanging out at the campsite or you have kiddos or whatever, and they need to go pee, they don't have to traipse all through the camper or go to your master bathroom. They just go right there. So that's super nice. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. We had a Montana model that had a butler's pantry in one floor plan and another floor plan. It was a half bath and it was so controversial. I loved it. Loved hearing everybody's opinion. Massive stainless steel refrigerator freezer. Plenty of room for a week's plus worth of groceries in there. Command center right here as you're coming up into the bedroom. This bedroom is awesome. I love the bedrooms in the Paradigms. You got a place to sit and put your shoes on if you'd like or get dressed. King-sized bed with nightstands on both sides, USB and regular charging. You even have a little nook up there. I had something like that in a Cougar that we had at one time. 
And I always just kept uh, blankets up there, but you could put a CPAP machine up there. You could put your phone up there. Uh, third AC in here. So you're going to stay nice and cool. Directly across from your bed, you'll see we've got another bank of drawers. We've got our TV mounted up here. So you can actually come up here, close the bedroom off, and have some privacy to uh, watch TV in the bedroom. Another cool little thing. And again, you'd want to take the sticker off or else it's not really hidden. You get this nice little hidden storage here for whatever you want to put. Nice sized area for uh, clothes. So you've got hanging storage here. And you also have pull out storage down below that. So you've got a lot of, uh, of closet space here. You also have some additional space here as you go into the bathroom if you needed that for extra closet space or if you wanted to use that for your linens. The bathroom, you actually have a closet here that is washer dryer prep. So you can actually put your washer dryer here or again, you could use it for hanging and stacking storage, which is nice. It's a really big closet. Entering into the bathroom, we have our sit-down shower. If you see any of my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of the sit-down shower. And I love the shower head on this. Like, it's nicer than what I have at the house. Does have the moon roof, so you've got plenty of height in there. A nice, big, epoxy-poured countertop. Lots and lots of room there. With additional storage there, as well as next to your soft clothes porcelain toilet. Medicine cabinet. And you do have the big old max air fan to pull out the steam and the stink if you need. Uh, let's go out and look at the outside. I'll just show you a couple of features out there. So if we walk up here to the front of the unit, you'll see we have a nice size pass-through storage up here. <coughs> Excuse me, you also have a plug so you can run a TV or something out if you needed to. See if I can get over to the command center. Battery box up here. I think I can get around to the command center. So yeah, here's your outside command center. So you have your outside shower. You have all your tank flushes, tank cleaning, city water hookup out here. And you just run all your hoses and stuff down through here. This does have the level up system on it. So it's easy as a button push to get everything leveled once you get to your camp spot. Then, let's walk up here a little bit. You'll see that we actually have two awnings here. You've got an awning above this slide, and then you've got a larger awning that runs above this side. So those are powered. They do have LED lights, which you can see them on now. And you have your outside speakers. But the main thing I wanted to show you out here was check out this storage that you have in the back massive storage like you could put kayaks in here no problem at all or mother-in-laws or whatever you want back here and what's really nice is this does slide out so you don't have to worry about trying to access stuff or climb in there you can just pull that out and access it do you have a ladder on here so fully walkable roof meaning you can get up there and clean and maintain your roof with no problem at all and then here's a side view of the other side. So there you have it. There is the Paradigm 385FL. Yeah, 385FL. I had to double check to make sure. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. And definitely let me know about what you think about that half bath. Have a great day.